<laughs> what the hell are you? We are Venom. A partner. What's going on, moviegoers? So if you're new to the channel, my name is Christian, and welcome to Zero Productions. All right, you guys, so in this video, I'm gonna be giving you guys my top six favorite comic book movies of 2018. 2018 has treated us very well for comic book movies, very well. We've got some amazing, stellar comic book movies dropped this year, you guys, and I can't wait to give you guys my list of my top six Good movies. What movies do we have this year? Well, we had Aquaman, we had Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, Avengers Infinity War, Black Panther, Ant-Man and the Wasp, and Venom. Six comic book movies this year alone. 2018 has been a lot of fun, but it's now it's time for me to rank these movies from starting at number six all the way to one. Now, this may be a surpriser for some of you guys. Number six, I'm gonna have to give it Ant-Man and the Wasp. I enjoyed Ant-Man and the Wasp the first time I saw it. I bought it, I rewatched it a couple times and realized it wasn't that good. It was kind of boring, um, especially coming after, right after Infinity War. Like, that was Marvel's biggest movie and you release Ant-Man and the Wasp right after that, you know what I mean? It just, it, se it seemed off, I was like, Everybody was on a high note after Infinity War, and then they scale it down to a sequel for Ant-Man. Was, you know, it was kind of a letdown. Um, I'm not saying the movie was bad. It just was kind of boring to me. Some parts were pretty fun and, you know, entertaining. Um, I got, I love to see the Wasp. I'm, I'm happy for her introduction into the MCU. She's kick-ass. I can't wait to see more of the Wasp in the MCU. But all around, I just thought the film was kind of boring. You know, it wasn't as good as the first Ant-Man. The first Ant-Man was a lot of fun and it was hilarious. Paul Rudd is fantastic. Um, but yeah, I mean, Ant-Man and the Wasp, number six, you guys. Number five, We Are Venom. Venom was such a surpriser for me. Hearing all these terrible reviews for Venom, I was like, oh, fuck, Sony did it again with Spider-Man 3, Sony did it again with Amazing Spider-Man 2. I was like, oh, here we go. But actually seeing the movie, I enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun. It was, it was, it felt like a nostalgic comic book movie for me. It felt like a Daredevil, Fantastic Four. It felt like one of those old school movies that it was its own entity that didn't connect to any other universe. So that's why I pretty, I, I, I enjoyed it a lot because of that aspect. And I thought Tom Hardy did a fabulous job as Eddie Brock and I thought Venom looked so comic book accurate. It was beautiful. I can't wait for him actually get that white symbol on his chest and actually start shooting web out of his his fist like in the comic books but in order for that to happen they have to you know start the whole origin of spider-man with the symbiote and then transfer back to eddie brock but i enjoyed venom venom was a lot of fun i'm actually i i just bought venom i gotta go pick it up at best buy I gotta go pick up my 4k um and i can't wait to watch it tonight but yeah venom is the number five you guys it was a hell of a fun film number four Aquaman. Aquaman, I just saw last week, this past weekend, and it was crazy. It was visually beautiful. Jason Momoa, what James Wan was able to capture with the storytelling and the origin of Aquaman and sort of mixing it into this film was beautiful. This was the film I wanted before Justice League. This is the film I thought needed to come out before Justice League for me to care for the character like I did after seeing Aquaman. But after Justice League, I didn't really care for the character but this film definitely solidified you know Aquaman I was like I am so down to see more Aquaman films this movie was beautiful the story was great um I really enjoyed it it was a lot of fun it was like an Indiana Jones and a Goonies movie mashed together underwater type avatar movie it was beautiful it was so beautiful and everybody in the film Patrick Wilson as King Orm was so good really good black manta was badass i wanted a little bit more of black manta but that's fine he most likely will be in the sequel but you guys i can't like the third act of this movie was amazing amazing it was crazy when he got that trident and when he got his suit it was on like donkey kong it was so cool um yeah aquaman definitely takes the list of number four um i'm seeing it again this week in imax i highly highly suggest you guys watch it in imax it's visually beautiful. 
I pretty, I'm pretty sure I was having an orgasm through my eyes. I was just like, oh my God, it's just so beautiful. <laughs> yeah, but Aquaman is the number four. Number three, Avengers Infinity War. Avengers Infinity War was a combination of a solid 10 years from Marvel Studios. Who would have thought back in like 2007 that we would be getting Avengers Infinity War movie with so many comic book characters into one film? Nobody would have thought that that would ever have happened. And Marvel Studios pulled it off. What the Russo brothers were, what they were able to, uh, to, to capture in this film as far as the stakes and the emotion was so good. I loved Infinity War. Infinity War, I saw it, what, four times in theaters? I just had to go back. I was like, you guys, this movie's so dope. It is such a good movie. Especially coming off of Age of Ultron, which wasn't the greatest Avengers movie. This was definitely a huge step up for, you know, the Avengers films. But it, it was beautiful. Um, Josh Brolin from Thanos was so intimidating and menacing. The visual effects in this movie were beautiful. All the scenes on, like, Vormir and all the scenes with Thanos. It was great, man. It was so action-packed. We got to see everybody get down. The whole battle in Wakanda was amazing. I love watching behind-the-scenes features on this film just to see all the hard work and, you know, all, everything that they were able to, capt uh, to accomplish and put in this movie was amazing. Two hours and 30 minutes of just beautifulness. And I can't wait to see part two next year, Avengers Endgame, the continuation, the conclusion of this story. I'm so excited to see what's going to happen in next year's film it's gonna be a lot of fun but yes Avengers Infinity War you guys lands on this list at three number two it goes to Black Panther Black Panther a cultural movement brought so many people together a film so relevant to this day Ryan Krugler my brother thank you so much Marvel Studios thank you so much the cast and crew from Denai Guerrero Lupita Nyong'o uh, Michael B. Jordan Chadwick Boseman Winston Duke, the list goes on. This film was amazing. Black Panther was a cultural movement and what it made me feel after watching this movie was astonishing. I haven't felt that way in such a long time and whew, representation is very important and I will always stress that, always stress that. Representation is important and being represented in the right way is very important as well. And Black Panther really captured all of that essence of you know what a great comic book movie should be. And it was very unique and different. It was something we've never seen before on the big screen. So it's very refreshing to see a film like Black Panther. Um, beautiful, beautiful film. Um, I love the fact that Ryan Krugler really did his homework on African tribes and cultures and stuff like that to mesh it in with the film to make it feel authentic. That was such, such a great move for Ryan Krugler. And I can't wait to see what he has in store for the sequel for Black Panther 2. Black Panther comes at number two and number one. A very big surprise of Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Who would have thought Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse would land on my list as my favorite comic book movie of the year? Who would have thought? First iteration of Miles Morales on the big screen. Fan-fucking-tastic, beautiful movie. Beautiful movie. From the story, the emotion, the characters. I cared for everybody in this movie. Even Kingpin. You, I understood his motive. You get what I'm saying? Like, I understood his motive. And the whole Miles Morales story of how he becomes Peter Parker and what happens to him is such a unique, beautiful story. Um, with Spoiler alert, with his uncle dying, you know, it's just, it's painful, man. Painful. And, you know, his dad's not really into Spider-Man, but he is Spider-Man now, so he has to juggle being a kid and trying to be the new Spider-Man because Peter Parker died. Beautiful story. And what they were able to accomplish in this Sony animation was great. The, the animation for this film was off the charts. Who would have thought Sony Animation would put out one of my favorite comic book movies of all time? This definitely beat out uh, The Incredibles 2 this year. For a, I, I, I definitely say Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse was my favorite animation film of all time. It has to be. It was so awesome. Definitely my favorite Spider-Man movie. This film, I, everything I want in a Spider-Man movie, this film had. With great power comes great responsibility. This film had so many awesome, fun moments, hilarious. Oh, it was great seeing all the Spider-Man interact with each other. I would love to someday see that, a live iteration of that on the big screen for the MCU. I would love to see that. And I would want to see Miles Morales, Miles Morales in the MCU. 
I would want to see him there. Kill Peter Parker off. Tom Holland, Spider-Man, two more movies. Give him the boot and pop in Miles Morales. That would be awesome. A representation again. I was sitting next to this little kid. This little black kid. And his look, he was so engaged. I thought he was Miles Morales for a moment. He was so into the movie. And to see that is that's why representing is so important when you make movies. It's very important. Very important, and I love that aspect of it. Miles Morales is a kick-ass superhero, one of my favorite Spider-Man, and I can't wait to see the future of what Miles Morales has in store for the big screen. But there you guys have it. That is my top six comic book movies of the year. Ant-Man and the Wasp, Venom, Aquaman, Avengers Infinity War, Black Panther, Spider-Man to the Spider-Verse. That's my list. Post your comments down below. Let me know what you guys' list is, rating from best to worst or worst to best, whatever you want to rate them or rank them. Please post your comments down below. I am curious to know. All right, you guys. Thank you for taking time out of your day for watching Steelwork Productions. Peace.